man, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Uh, basically, what I want to discuss today is, and go back to a little bit of the serious, more focused vibe. It's uh, life after graduation, before getting a job, and the process of uh, getting a job and looking for one. But let me find a better background, so let's go. Okay, it's really windy, so neither my hair nor my mic work well with the wind, so you have to bear with me just a little bit. And I'll change, uh, I'll change the angle in just a bit. But to get started, uh, first I want to thank everyone for who congratulated me since I graduated a few weeks ago. Uh, a lot of those messages were heartfelt and genuine and I appreciate those. And I appreciate even the, the quick ones. It's been over a month since I graduated. And uh, at first it was obviously cool, it was chill. Wasn't doing much with my day. Um, like even, even right after graduation, I tried to still be a little bit productive. Uh, so as not to just sit around and do nothing. But uh, now, since my brother's now uh, back to his uni, and my sister's in school, and you know, uh, every, everything is back to normal, it's, it's time to take things much more seriously. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys some of the things that I'm doing to stay focused on the job search. In terms of motivation, to stay focused, to uh, keep the motivation there, because it does get a little bit difficult. Okay, I think this is much better. So as I was saying, the feeling is really hard to describe because from like both university and school we're, we're all used to having something secure, a secure plan, a fixed plan. There's a schedule, but now all of a sudden once you graduate and you're done with everything, it's, there's nothing, right? It's down to what you want to do. And that's why uh, the first thing I advise everyone or anyone who's in the situation to come up with a structure, to come up with something solid, um, such as like a plan or a schedule for every day. And it doesn't have to be serious. Even after I graduated, I still wanted to keep waking up at a reasonable time. Uh, just to make sure that there's still a meaning to my day. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night or in the middle of my, like my afternoon and then that way my morning's lost. When I wake up, uh, I usually go on, I check LinkedIn, just search for jobs on different uh, company websites, try different things because honestly at this stage, when I ask people for like advice and stuff like that, I, they rarely tell me something new or something different or something I don't know already because of how much work I've done in this like job search uh, field and because of that right now I'm focusing on reaching out to different people this is I would say my second piece of advice uh, just keep trying to reach out keep trying to find uh, referrals keep trying to find recommendations keep, keep trying to find people uh, who really can uh, help you get to different places because at some point like the career website or the, the company website it doesn't doesn't really help much you know it's just a link you apply and then your application sometimes you know it can get lost uh, and, and and thankfully I've met people over the past couple of days or a couple of weeks who have helped me uh, reach out to people I, I personally couldn't have reached out to otherwise just because there was there was a huge gap you know at least this person now made an introduction and and now it makes sense for me to keep going with the third party or the new introduction anyway once that's out of the way once you have done your uh, part in applying to jobs and searching for jobs and reaching out to people what i would recommend you do is start preparing right now for interviews i, I always want to be prepared ahead of time i don't want to get an interview and then start preparing for it because i feel like that's way way too risky what i have in mind is start preparing right now for interview questions and spend a decent amount of time like an hour or two hours every day because now that way if i if and when i get an interview i'm already ready otherwise i'll have to spend some time after someone informs me and then the excuse oh i didn't have time to prepare will dominate me and then i'll feel better about not it's just a, a, a vicious cycle if you don't prepare in advance so what that's what i want to do right now is put myself in the mentality that okay imagine that you already have an interview now prepare for it seriously besides that i would highly recommend you take care of your physical uh shape like still work out uh still take care of your skin your hair your your beard if i don't know your nails whatever you usually take care of keep doing that because if you don't your body will start to deteriorate or you'll start feeling worse because you suddenly you're all of a sudden now leaving something that you used to take care of before and you don't want that feeling so right now with this stage what you want to do is maintain your your state physical mental psychological everything you want you want to stay healthy in all terms so if that means that you should still go to the nail salon you should if that means you should still go to the gym then you should um you you, you I, as i said you just want to stay on top of your game at this stage because 
trust me, when you're sitting at home alone for the first couple of days, it sounds cool and it, you know, it's pretty fun and enjoyable. But after that, it gets really, really tricky because everyone seems to have something to do with their life except for you. My other piece of advice would be to still go out, try to meet different people. Personally, my, most of my friends study abroad, not in Dubai. Um, so once they traveled and that happened over the past couple of days, um, the, 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 the number of people I know well right here in Dubai is, is limited now. Um, so what I'm also trying on doing is pursuing other interests, you know, like, yes, I want to work, but I have other interests besides just uh, a 95 and, and I'm trying to pursue that interest as well and reaching out to new people and hopefully getting a chance to meet them. Um, as you can see, like the videos I've posted uh, so far in 2020 have all been, you know, lighthearted and funny or uh, interesting, entertaining, collaborating with Safe and Rumsey. But I, I still want to keep doing those collaborations. Some of them will still be of the, that genre and hopefully others will be uh, something that can actually provide value besides entertainment. One other thing I'd really recommend you guys do, whether or not uh, you're looking for a job or you have one or you're still in university, is to find yourself a place just like this. I love coming here, whether on my own or with my brother, or my friends, whoever it is, and just enjoy the scenery. Now, you can obviously hear the sound of the cars passing by, but at night, it's pretty peaceful. It helps me reset, it helps me focus, it helps me uh, like recharge when I lose motivation. Uh, I look at some of these towers and be like, you know what, I, I want to get a job so I can live in one of them, or I want to live in a cool place uh, which has an incredible view like this. And so just spending some time here, uh, taking a deep breath of natural air, and especially in this in this kind of weather now, like. Dubai's weather is incredible. Find yourself a place, whether you prefer coming outdoors and just um, appreciating what's out here or whether you like to maybe stay indoors or, or do something else, whatever it is, find that thing that helps you recharge and refocus, reconnect, uh, motivate yourself. I do uh, recharge when I play sports or when I work out, but the, that motivation to work and to keep going doesn't come from working out. One point that I forgot to mention or that I may have passed by over pretty quickly is to surround yourself with people who can help you get through this. Uh, luckily, my family has been pretty supportive. Uh, people who I meet, they're really supportive with their efforts and their um, even their moral support sometimes because you know it's, it's a natural phase, but I don't feel like it's talked about uh, at all, to be honest, so that's why I'm making this video. And I hope, I hope uh, for people who uh, are not at the stage yet, I hope uh, this video stays in your, uh, you know, in mind. So if you're ever, if you're ever in this situation, you can watch it and know that you're not alone in this. Other people go through it, and hopefully, hopefully, with enough hard work, enough dedication, enough uh, determination, uh, it'll be a short period of time. It'll pass quickly, and then hopefully, you get your dream job and uh, you'll be able to pursue your next life goal. Personally, for me, the, one of the main reasons, uh, this is difficult for me. There are a lot of things that are being put on hold because there is no job. And I know it's not an excuse. That's why I'm trying to do other things in parallel with uh, searching for a job. Because for me, life doesn't stop. There are a few things that you have to put on hold, but life in general doesn't stop. You gotta keep moving, you gotta stay positive, you gotta stay, uh, you know, you gotta keep trying your best. I just hope for whoever's graduating in May or for anyone who graduated in December, and for people graduating in the future or people who have graduated in the past and are still looking for jobs because I know it's a reality. Sometimes it's not a matter of weeks, it's not a matter of months, sometimes it's a matter of years. And uh, yeah, I, I just hope we can all stay strong, we can all stay supportive. End of the day, um, we got to help each other out, whether we're close friends or whether we're, we just met each other because that's, that's how the world functions. If we don't help each other out, then. I don't think we can ever move anywhere. So with that being said, uh, as usual, uh, make sure to send me any questions you might have about things that I either experienced during my time at Purdue or things that I'm experiencing right now, or maybe some of the things that I'm like, maybe in-depth steps or in-depth details about what my schedule looks like. I know I give you a brief idea, but if, if that's of interest to you or like maybe a day in the life right now, uh, just to see what it's like or you know, whatever it is, just let me know. Uh, so with that being said, thank you all for watching and I uh, hope we all stay positive. Take care.